Johnny Rocket from Pansy. We got a show tonight, August 2nd, at uh, Evenflow Bar in the Bayshore, Long Island. This is all our gear for tonight. And so tonight, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna rock the fucking house for these guys because they're paying us. So we got our friends Tang uh, opening up for us. Let's just hope that the people show up and we deliver. Either way, we're gonna deliver. I just want the people to show up because some cult tri tribute band, which is big in Long Island, uh, tribute bands, not to take anything away from you guys, but you know, people rather see tribute bands than original bands here in Long Island for some reason. And that's just me talking. And it, it, my lawyer told me alcohol and the camera don't work, but I sort of know how to go about it now. And I'm just speaking truth. So stay tuned. And um, Damien will be bringing you bits and pieces between now and the end of the weekend. So thanks for watching. <laughs> How you doing? You're watching NYC Rock, where we bring you real New York City rock and roll stories. NYC Rocks, what's up? How are you? DC from Danzy over here. Oh man, this weekend is a hailstorm of shows. We're doing tonight here at Even Flows. We're doing tomorrow night McGuire's in Queens. Uh, Sunday we're doing the Road Reapers uh, uh, MC Club Party. And uh, next weekend we're doing Long Island again, Demon Knights Club Party. So I think August is the month of Long Island, man. We have a better draw at the city. So we, we, we packed the house a little bit more there. But we'll see what this ends up being like, you know? I think the goal is step out of our comfort zone, you know, which is New York City, and uh, try to broaden the brand, you know, if you will. Try to get a regional following. It starts out, we play in front of 15 people, then, you know, then 25, then 30. So, you know, we want to be able to not just have a good draw in the city, but we want to have a good draw everywhere we play, you know, and we're doing it old school, man. We're just, we're out there playing, you know, trying to get people to hear us. That's how we're doing it. So that's, that's the goal, man, is to get out here. Hopefully we pick up a couple of new fans, you know? Yeah. Three days of panting, yeah. Yeah, why not, man? It's a party. And three Fuck days that. of panting. Brian Mattis posted three days of panting. Yeah, three days of panting. That's how we do it. We don't play for a month. Then we'll do three, four days. Big fans of yours. I haven't seen you yet. Awesome. Live. Cool. And this is our friend's bar. This so. is what it's about, man. You see? Meeting people for the first time, hanging out with the people who like us. You guys are we like awesome. you. Thank you very much, Judy, for coming. You guys are mm. awesome. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate Actually, it. Actually, my husband went to a different show. I'm like, I am not missing fans. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Papito. You got some Long Island peeps coming to see you, man. Hello, how are you? How you doing? I'm Joanne, nice to meet you. I'm so psyched to finally be seeing you guys. This is a first pansy show. Yeah. She's a virgin. <laughs> well, I hope it's a nice turnout, because we have been trying to play this club for a while. And hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Yes. Good. Yeah. This is a now you do. Uh, that's why when you're yelling at me, I'm kidding. yelling at you because I need a black one, not a speaker cable. He's a good kid. I do this before every show, and everybody freaks out when I do it. But when you're pro guitar tech for 10 years and you know how to tune a guitar, you go on an hour before with new strings, and I go out of tune. That's because the guys that I learned for from. You know, they were in the business. Well, the guy I learned from, he turned out being a freaking asshole to me, but you know, that what are friends are for? What are friends for to become assholes? But we've also been writing a lot of new stuff. Um, and we're, after this group of shows, we're 
we want to finish that up. You know, we're about halfway into the new album. So um, the new tracks kind of kick ass. We're excited about them. And, uh, you know, stay tuned, man. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised with what's coming. After these shows for the next two weeks, everybody's in Salt going up to DC's place and we're going to start dropping down tracks. Track. We got five new ones and we're going to do one tonight that we played. Actually, we're doing a couple. Yeah. So we were talking about where to put it in the set. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he came up with a good idea earlier. Uh, putting better. it up in early is a totally different thing. Totally it's different like, <laughs> I'm attempting singing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but there's a common thread through them all that it's, it's the pansy sound. Because you can hear a lot of different sounds, I believe, in that record. I think these guys mm -hmm. are brilliant. And, but they still have made it your know, sound. Yeah. And, and the so, new stuff is similar. It's the same. But now but they're writing. It's like yeah. sort of over here and Mr. Dave Sussman. Sussman. It's their writing and their contribution to the new songs. It's like the band is matured. Like it's shit on the second album. But yeah. it really matured. These, cool. they, they, you bring in the, these guys are really seasoned. They play. You know, they know what seasoned. moves people. <laughs> oh, I'm you seasoned. Know, oh, a bunch of old dogs. I'm but seasoned. like, but like, he's been working professionally in the industry for years. Yeah, <laughs> the you say two decades. Horror. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you know, uh, professionally. Yeah. Like, yeah, so that's badass. Was my first tour with Chem Lab and White Zombie. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> that's. How fucking awesome is that? She made the pilgrimage. <laughs> fucking made the pilgrimage. <laughs> I know this fucking guy. The greatest oh, artist. Shit. The greatest artist in fucking all of New York City. <laughs> so, this guy these right are here. Our fucking people. Demon Knights, MC, Long Island, representing hard. Look at this. This is commitment. This They're is coming commitment. to a show. This guy just fucking went down going 80 miles an hour. Uh, less than a week ago, two weeks ago? A week and a half ago. He's coming, he's playing the show. Uh, oh, is this fucked up? <laughs> it looks better now. Yeah, it looks better. Let's see, let's see. Like yeah. Oh, we're fucking... Flow right here. This guy Giving fucking us the chance, rocks, man. Hooking us up. We're going to rock out for him and everybody that shows up tonight, man. Thank you very Thank much you, for having me. Yes, rocks. I hate to say it's a dying breed, man, but this is one of the, uh, one of the you know, last there, bastions. There, there aren't many clubs in Long Island doing what, what they does. do, which is, you know, playing our music, playing the rock and roll, playing the metal, playing the, the hard rock, right? Yo, let's go. All right, tanks. That sounds like a band to me. Thanks, thanks for the pants. They look good. They feel like a tampon. <laughs> they, what, they're they're really snow. They're the like crotch. really cottony soft. Did you poop in them or something? They're, they're, they're tight in the crotch, though. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're tight and cracked now, right? What, what, did you, <laughs> what did you do, dude? You shrink them? Well, they're heavier than we are. <laughs>
write a song and you haven't played to an audience before with that song, it's an experiment because like, ultimately oh. you want people to move. You want them to feel it, but you want to move them. And that's the ultimate celebration when someone's dancing. And there's a lot of emotions out there to make someone move to. Yeah. After a while, you start to see what your audience is moving to. Mm-hmm. And you want to give them a, what they want, but you also want to surprise them with new, like, you know, like, uh, yeah. you know, growth. Yeah. And so the, and the new one isn't she? The new new one is oh yeah. It's leaps and bounds. I mean, it goes from like Brian Ferry, Roxy quality. music to Killing Joke, then to like yeah, early ACDC. The chords DC is is coming up with are out there. You know they're great. Yeah. You know it's a total yeah. different vibe, but still. Fucking slamming pansy. It's still know. pansy. It's still pansy. And what's good about putting it early is we have to play it with confidence. If we don't play it like we mean it, it'll start to break down because it's that new. This is my mistake. I put in number three. Uh, this is a new one called Isn't She? They're all new to you, right? Yeah. This is really new to us.
sick as fuck. He's lucky that this is the first time he pulled this shit. <laughs> we haven't rehearsed the set in a while. I think that was rehearsal right there. It was a terrible one. All I could do is laugh. I, that, that's all I could do. That's is laugh. all I could do. And Shorty on the last song is getting all burnt bent out that his guitar's off. I'm like, it's a good thing. Right? Who was he drinking with? I don't know. With DC? I don't know, man. He has one all by himself, dude. He'll find a place to I fucking drink. I think it was by himself, yeah. Good. Well, he probably drank the whole way out here. I probably had Cindy driving. It was just a common thread through every song. Uh, pretty much. It was scary, dude. I was just like, I don't want to play any more songs. I know, man. After the first song. <laughs> I just kept, I knew I was right, so I just kept I, I, fucking, like, I knew you were I'm right. Like, I'm just gonna sing. Yeah. Only he catches on. He caught on. Because sometimes on. he'll just go right barreling into... through, and I gotta go, okay. <laughs> it's because he doesn't usually do that. Yeah. And tonight I just caught me to, like, he got drunk somehow. Yeah. How the fuck you got paying attention to that shit? I gotta see, I gotta see where his eyes are. They're like halfway in the back yeah, of right? his head. <laughs> I didn't think so, but that's it was one, it was one of those nights, but it's just all right, all right. You got some good shit? You need nothing super. Get the fuck out of here, you're fired. Well, great. That's what I was talking about. Okay, you used to wrap up to the show. What's the consensus? Yeah, Ronald. Right yeah. Probably next round of show. Final buzz? Yeah. Probably next round of show. Nah. Sucked. Sucked. Yeah. As usual, I say, you know, it was a little bit rough in the beginning, but, you know, we saw people come in and the owner loves us and we're getting paid and, you know, we basically came through. We rocked and we brought people and people stayed and I don't know if they're staying for the last band, unfortunately, we encouraged that, but it was a success. Cut. Servo had to work Monday, which is when we rehearse. And Thursday, uh, we rehearsed as well. I had to work. So we, we missed a week of rehearsal. So the new song was, the new songs were kind of a little bumpy, but you know what I mean? If you're Flub King, Flub King or not, it don't matter. We had a good show and it was a success. You want to take the picture? I'm taking video. Video? Yeah. Take a picture. Uh, I got a camera. Uh, 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 wait, wait, where are you going?